What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reef and coming back at you with another video. And today I'm gonna be doing my review on Aqua Vitro fuel for your reef tank. This is made by Seachem and it has done wonders for my tank for the past two years. So let's dive into it and I'm gonna go over the basics for it. Now with this product, whenever you use it, you have to shake it. That's because with all the different minerals and vitamins and uh, acids, they will kind of get um, stratified in the bottle. So when you shake it, it helps to make it more homogenous. Um, one of the main things you need to do is always follow the dosing directions. Now for me, I have a fully stocked mixed reef tank that's taking up 100 milliliters of calcium alkalinity a day. It's a lot. So for my tank, it says do five milliliters for every 20 gallons. So what I do, I do uh, 20 milliliters twice a week for my tank, and I do this every Monday and Thursday. And I dose it, and you know, I, after I get done dosing it, I refrigerate because you have to refrigerate this after opening it because it has all those fatty acids in it and you don't want those to go bad. And this product can go bad because it does have so much in it. All right, guys. So what I wanted to go over was the guaranteed analysis from Aqua Vitro Fuel. Now for this, you can see you have boron, iodine, iron, copper, zinc, manganese, bromide, cobalt, molybdenum, vanadium, nickel, tin, and rubidium. Now these are all in micrograms. What you're going to notice is you're hitting almost every single one of your major elements, or major trace elements, I should say. The exception being potassium and strontium. And when I get to my uh, ICP test from Triton, you're going to kind of see where those levels are a little bit low. Um, but overall, as far as being an all-in-one supplement, Aqua Vitro is really doing a great job. Now, what I also like about Aqua Vitro is the vitamins, and there's also these lipids and fatty acids. So you have like lysine, tyrosine, polysaturated fats, vitamin B12, B4, B3, 2, 1, and vitamin C. These all help to build up the... Um, the nutrition in your reef tank. Now for Aqua Vitro, you can get these in 150 milliliters, 350, 1 liter, and 4 liters. Now for my 100 gallon tank, dosing 20 milliliters twice a week. That's 40 milliliters a week, and that should last me about 25 weeks for 1 liter in a 100 gallon tank that is pretty moderately to heavily stocked mixed reef. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. And my LFS is selling it for $25. So for a dollar a week, essentially, I am able to dose all this to my reef tank and hold all my parameters almost exactly where I want them to be. Now, all I'm doing for my tank is doing a 20 gallon water change with uh, reef crystals. And that is once a month, 20%. And I'm dosing bulk reef supply, bulk two part alkalinity and calcium, 100 milliliters a day. So dosing quite a bit. And this is more than enough to keep up with my tank, with the exception of potassium and strontium. Now, when we look at the macro elements for my 80 gallon reef tank, granted it's 80 gallons, but I have 100 gallons water volume with my frag tank and my sump um, put in there because I have a 40 gallon breeder. Now you can see manganese, dead on where I want it to be. Potassium, right where I want it to be, but I'm also supplementing potassium. Bromide, boron, everything where I want it to be. Strontium, a little bit low. But again, I'm not really dosing strontium. I'm only doing it with water changes. So I did buy some strontium and I'm, be, I'm starting to dose it. There's going to be a video of that coming out in the near future. Stay tuned. Lithium, a little bit high. Nickel, right where it needs to be, and molybdenum, a little bit high. But again, I'm dosing all these elements in one supplement, so I'm not going to get a perfect ratio every single time. But it's all within um, a general acceptable range. Vanadium, zinc, manganese, all looking good. Manganese is a little bit low, and iodine just a tad bit high. Um, but overall, I'm really happy. It's kind of like when you use this product, you're using kind of scattershot. 
um, just to kind of hit as many targets as you can with one load, as opposed to multiple different um, bottles to kind of fine tune it. I'm just looking for something that's going to be this most simple to use that is going to get me the results. Now, the only thing that I noticed that was out of whack was cobalt. Granted, I am dosing cobalt with um, the fuel, but it's, you know, I don't know if all my cobalt is coming from the fuel. I think it might be a magnet or something in the tank or um, some loose metal that's around it. So I've since done a water change and corrected this. So it'll be interesting to see where it is when I do my, when my next ICP test comes out in a couple months. Barium beryllium, not in there. Silicone, not in there. And phosphate and phosphorus, not in fuel. But overall, as you can see with these levels, I mean, for one product to just be able to give you all this, granted, some people have said it's snake oil. I do not believe it's snake oil. I think it works. I have the ICP testing to back up that what I'm doing with two-part and monthly water changes and Seachem Fuel is doing the job. Granted, I'm going to need to dose potassium and I'm going to need to dose strontium. But besides that, what other product gives you all this? Granted, you might have Bright Wells Replenish you could add into it, but Replenish is not going to add all these vitamins over here and fatty acids. So if you wanted to kind of do this, um, you'd have to use Bright Wells Replenish and the Reef Code AB Plus from uh, Red Sea to get anywhere close to this wide range of you know coverage which is great. You get it for a bottle. You support your LFS. It's 25 bucks. It's a buck a week for you to dose it. I think it's a win-win. So I'm really happy with it. All right, guys. So that is my review on Seachem Aqua Vitro Fuel. Now, as you can see, I got a fully stocked mixed reef tank. It is jam-packed with corals and aqua vitro man it's doing its job i'm happy with it um if you guys have any comments questions about aqua vitro let me know i know there aren't very many reviews online about it but i've been using this product for two and a half three years now and had no ill effects my icp testing came back and everything is looking solid so as far as you know being tried and true i'm pretty sure that thousands and thousands of reefers have used Aqua Vitro and I haven't found really that many negative reviews as a part to it being, you know, kind of like a scattershot approach. But for me, I'm all about keeping reefing simple. And if I can get most, if not almost all of my supplements in one bottle, why wouldn't I do that, you know? And the proof is in the pudding, right? Everything is looking healthy and happy this tank is over four years old with me, and I had it, what, two years with the previous owner before I bought it and just changed it all up. So in its current state, four years old, and I've been using Aqua Vitra for two and a half of those years. I think it's a solid product, and I would highly recommend it to anyone starting off wanting to get into dosing. Now, with any type of dosing, less is more. Always start out on the low end. If you don't have a fully stocked mixed reef or SPS tank, then switch it up. Do, you know, only half the amount of dosing. You don't have to dose everything all at once. Work your way up to the higher, uh, you know, milliliters a week. You can always add more. So guys, that's all I got for you this time on Shallow Reefing. If you guys have any comments, questions, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, click the subscribe button. It helps the channel out and I'm trying to spread some knowledge in the hobby. So if you guys have anything you want, let me know and I'll try to review it. See ya.